now i am going to stop and next topic we will cover uh, conventional energy resources thank you everyone so again uh, very good uh, good morning to all and uh, uh, now we are going to cover second part of energy resources uh, in this part we are going to discuss conventional energy resources okay so in conventional energy resources we are including coal petroleum natural gas hydropower nuclear power uh, most of the pupils or most of the students know about these resources so now we are going to uh, discuss uh, what are the these resources and why we are using uh, what are the limitations of these resources okay first Uh, we are going to discuss coal uh, coal basically it forms from decayed swamp plant matter that cannot decompose in the low oxygen under underwater environment coal was the major fuel of early industrial revolution high correlation between the location of coal resources and early industrial centers and uh, you can say uh, the these are the different centers like uh, parts of wales pennsylvania silesia okay Uh, now there are three grades of coal as you can see here three grades anthracites bituminous and lignite by the graph you can see anthracites has the better quality because it it has good burn energy and also it has uh, uh, most uh, carbon content okay so you can see lignite has the lowest grade of coal okay so these are the three coals which we are using in our a uh, coal industry uh, these are this chart shows global coal production now coal use coal where we use basically we are using coal in our thermal power plant okay uh, we in our cement plant lime clean kilns plant and uh, steam engine plants okay metallurgical coal is also used so uses for uh, source of carbon for converting a metal ore to metal removing the oxygen in the ore by forcing it to combine with the carbon in the coal to form carbon dioxide coking coal is also used for uh, cooking purpose uh, also we are using uh, coal and uh, new redevelopment of the coal industry in view of rising uh, energy prices so these are the coal as percentage of energy use and electricity generation at 1998 different countries shows different electricity percentage and energy percentage now second is petroleum as uh, petroleum formation uh, decay under pressure of billions of microscopic plants in sedimentary rocks oil window 7000 to 15000 feet and created over the last 600 million years so petroleum how it uh, forms we know very well and exploration of new resources of petroleum related to the geological history of an area located in the sedimentary basins about 90% of all petroleum resources have been discovered uh, and now we are going to discuss production versus consumption so basically there are different Uh, there are many resources for production many you cannot say many resources it takes a lot uh, a lot of time uh, to produce petroleum okay so geographical differences is the uh, basic uh, condition for production and contributed to the political problems linked with oil supply this is uh, also you you can see now the use of petroleum we are using for transportation okay then other uses like lubricant plastic fertilizers depend on the number of utility factors and favoring the uses of fossil fuels here you can see there are different data which we are using here like accounts for more 55% of the oil used uh, in the us this share is 70% limited uh, limited possibility at substitution now these are the some of the factors of oil dependency why we depend on oil so first like occurrence transportability energy content reliability storability flexibility safety environment and price these are the factors which 
uh, you can say it, uh, which make us oil dependent. Okay. And petroleum oil reserves, uh, there are different oil reserves in different countries. Gavar uh, and OPEC countries may have uh, overse overstated its reserves. So these are the some of the key points for oil reserves you can see in uh, study. Now the major crude oil reserves 2003 you can see by the graph. Uh, Saudi Arabia has the major uh, crude oil reserves and it arounds two more than 250 billions of barrels reserves it has. Okay. Now. Petroleum production, consumption and imports, United States 1949 to 2002. You can see by the graph production, consumption, imports, real oil prices. Okay. Now the petroleum storm booming oil prices after 2004. Prior oil spikes linked with short lived geopolitical events. The situation had changed at the beginning of the 21st century. And a production issue, petroleum extraction appears to be running at capacity. Demand, especially new consumers, China is going up. So demand, if demand is increases, no doubt production, uh, uh, we have to increase the production. Okay. Distributed issue, limited additional tanker and pipeline capacity and refining issue. We have these issues, production issue, distribution issue and refining issue. Now natural gas, third one is your natural gas. You can say this is your uh, conventional energy resource like uh, uh, natural, uh, natural gas. So formation, how it forms? First thermogenetic, it means it converted organic material into natural gas due to high pressure, deeper window than oil, uh, biogenic transformation by microorganism. Now, Composition composed primarily of methane and other light hydrocarbons. Mixture of 50 to 90 percent by volume of methane, propane and butane. You have to remember this. The volume of methane, propane and butane. Uh, these are the mixture of uh, uh, volume by volume for making a nat uh, natural gas. Dry and wet methane content, sweet and sour sulfur content. Okay. So if methane content discussed, it means it, it will dry and wait. And if sulfur content discussed, it means sweet and sour. Okay. And usually, uh, usually found in association with oil, you can say formation of oil is likely to have natural gas by, as, as a byproduct and often a layer over the petroleum. Okay. So natural gas also has reserves, substantial reserves likely to satisfy energy needs for the next 100 years. High level of concentration, 45% uh, of the world's reserves are in Russia and Iran. Regional concentration of gas resources is more diverse as opposed to oil and only 36% of the reserves are in the Middle East. Now the use, use of natural gas we know very well. Uh, we are using natural gas in our home, uh, in our car. Okay. So mostly used for energy generation, uh, often wasted, burned off. It is now more frequently conserved and used, considered the cleanest fossil fuel to use. Major problem is transport, tra major problem. Uh, basically, we are facing the problem for transpo transporting natural gas, which requires pipelines. Okay. And gas turbine technology enables to use natural gas to produce electricity more cheaply than using coal. So liquefied natural gas LNG, sometimes liquid petroleum gas LPG, liquid form of natural gas easy to transform, cryogenic process, these are the uh, criteria for cryogenic process, criteria or you can say parameters for cryogenic process, value chain like extraction, liquefaction, sipping, storage and regasification. And these are the global natural gas reserves 2003. Now, second, uh, next one is hydropower. So, generation of electricity using the flow of water as the energy source. We are using, we are uh, studying uh, hydropower plant, about hydropower plant. So, for making hydropower plant, we are creating a dam. Okay. 
so gravity as a resource you can say requires a large reservoir of water okay considered cleaner less polluting than fossil fuels and next one is your tidal power and tidal power basically is also a form of uh, hydro power and the take the advantage of variation between high and low tides if high and low tides created then uh, uh, you can say by the difference we can using this pressure difference okay and uh, creating uh, you can say creating power or generating power electricity power hydro power may what we are using by the sunlight uh, water evaporates and then water uh, evaporates after evaporation uh, it will precipitate in rivers and rivers uh, when river flow and it is stores in the dam reservoirs you can say accumulate in the accumulate accumulation of water in the dam and uh, there are different pipes which we are using uh, uh, from high uh, high level of source to low level of source water is coming from the high level to low level and then we are using turbines if turbine rotates then uh, by the help of generator we converting that energy into electricity or electric energy so you can say uh, by the source of uh, uh, water energy by the source of water energy we are producing electric energy okay so hydro power controversy is requires like uh, dams reservoirs power plants very expensive and environmental problems like the dam themselves often alter the environment in the areas where they are located and changing the nature nature of rivers creating lakes that fill former valleys and canyons etc so these are this this chart will show world hydroelectric generating capacity and this chart will prepare with for 1950 to 1998 in megawatts okay so you can see here for different country like uh, brazil canada us and also compare with the world last one is your nuclear power so nuclear power basically fission of uranium to produce energy the fission of 1 kg around 2.2 lb of uranium 235 releases 18.7 million kilowatt Hours as heat. So this heat is used to boil water, activate steam turbines. Uranium is fairly abundant, we know very well, and requires massive amount of water for cooling of reactor. So this is the chart. This is the block diagram for nuclear power. Like you can see here, uh, production and storage uranium is used, and uranium and water goes to the reactor where fission. uh free fusion reaction occurs and after fusion uh, a much of amount a uh, uh, much amount of energy is released and this energy is goes to the steam where steam uh, produ uh, steam rotates the turbine and this turbine when it rotates by the help of generator generate electricity so uh, with the help of uranium we uh, produce or we create the electricity we produce the electricity or electric energy so this nuclear power plants 1960 to 2002 in gigawatts which shows uh, different capacity de decommission and construction okay so these are the different uh, uh, capacity decommission and constructions uh, nuclear power plants okay now nuclear power plant if we are going to discuss about uh, which type of countries which type of power plant in our uh world so you can see 430 operating nuclear power plants worldwide and very few new plants coming on line uh public resistance high cost nuclear waste disposal these are the disadvantages or these are the you can say criteria for uh nuclear power plant 30 countries generate nuclear electricity and about 17% of all electricity generated worldwide so united state if we talk about united states 109 100 you can say more than 100 licensed uh, nuclear power plants about 20% of the electricity licenses are usually given for a 40 year period many us plants will be coming up for license extension by 2006 and no nuclear power plant built since 1979 and in china 
basically plans to add new two nuclear power reactor uh, per year until 2020 okay so this is about your nuclear power now this is global nuclear energy generation and uh, 2004 2003 okay so you can see where maximum nuclear energy is generated and where minimum energy is generated uh, nuclear power uh, basic disadvantage of nuclear power its disposal so problem of nuclear waste disposal is radio radioactivity because radioactive reactions so low level waste is and uh, high level waste is occurs in low level waste is uh, basically material used to handle the highly radioactive parts of nuclear reactors water pipes and radiation suits lost their radioactivity high level waste is like includes uranium plutonium other highly radioactive elements nuclear wastes have a half life about uh, 10000 to 20000 year requirements of long term storage long term geolo geological storage site at yuka mountain okay so reliance if we talk about reliance of nuclear plant so some countries have progressed much further in their use of nuclear power than in us high reliance and facing out so you can say different countries have high reliance like france sweden belgium russia have a high reliance on nuclear energy so these are the data you can see and you can learn uh, about the nuclear power now this is nuclear power as the percentage of electricity generation 1998 you can see france has the lar uh, largest nuclear power plant and uh, it generates maximum energy okay by the help of uh, nuclear power okay then canada has the minimum then united state uh, and there are different countries which uh, are working in nuclear power and producing electricity by the nuclear power okay now the there are different pros and cons of nuclear side like uh, pro if you talk about pros uh, it reduces fossil fuels dependence enhance energy security environment benefits but cons fear of accident and sabotage waste disposal high construction and decommission cost